No, no. Man, can, we can melt? It's not the correct play, but let's be honest, I have to do it. It's way too epic. Man, we are just melting Urza like crazy today. So let's create some soldiers. And I mean, obedient. I will go with the Trampler, my friend. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today a special deck that I wanted to make since a long time. It was kind of obvious that it will happen at some point. And it, uh, we have a Tesseret Artifact Azorius Control. But don't get fooled, there's another Planewalker in the town and you will see way more meld, meld games than I expected. I, I didn't really consider this will be a meld, I just, you know, we are going for Lord Protector, it discounts all the artifacts, it's it's good. So I wanted to throw one, maybe two Mystone and the Weakstones, they are also artifact, they power other artifacts, like everything is going very well. Uh, but I must say, man, you meld them so often in this deck. And one of the reasons is that this is not the only threat, it's not like your lone creature that you're opponent needs to answer, as usually in control decks with melt. You actually play creatures every single turn and he just needs to remove everything. And with Tezzeret as a, you know, master planewalker, because the main planewalker for the deck is this, not Urza. Even though Urza comes into play much more often. Uh, Tezzeret is the big deal. You have a 4 mana planewalker with insane passive. This with Bangbusters, man, you are doing two cards a turn for zero mana. That's you cannot un like overstate how important it is to get extra card over your opponent. So passive is amazing. On top of it, you draw two cards, you discard an artifact. We have enough artifact to just make full value of this. I actually did not use minus two as much as maybe you think you should, but. I really think the true power in this in this card is having five loyalty and drawing cards. Because if this survives one attack and you untap with it, you have so much tempo, so much value that you get like four extra cards, something crazy. And then it's so much easier to protect it. You spam the board with tokens, you keep lay down arms and you remove everything. Uh, it's glorious, it's amazing. So this is the deck, I really hope you will like it. Uh, the games were pretty epic and I think the melding action will satisfy of first so with that being said don't forget to subscribe you really uh, enjoy every new person on the channel so thank you for that and thank you for being so supportive and let's go into the games and have some fun all right we're going first man i'm so excited to play this deck Raffin tower into lay down arms and even though this is a tap plant it can exile something we definitely want to have this play uh, this might die to cut down, so let's go for 100% value. Man, lay down arms. Card that I really like right now. Alright, alright, alright. I, I see how it is. So we can go Aether aggressive, and I will, because he is tapped out. You think we are a control deck, you silly, silly person. We are just a control smog deck, right? Book from I don't know how long. Like, I wish they had, like, different stuff on this. Yeah, that, there was the cutdown that we talked about. But at least it breaks his uh, turn three play. And you know what? So we could attack, but I don't think that's the play. I think Terzeret is the play. So enjoy your one card, because we will draw way more. We could keep attacking, but, you know, where's fun in attacking? I'm not mono red player, I actually want to play this game. Alright, uh, search engine is super cool. Alright, and I definitely remember every single time that this is free when Tesseret is on board. Oh, the reader. The reader, I kinda not surprised. Like, it's so weird. Such a weird ability. Like, I remember even CGB just mentioned it's so hard to play it. I, I know exactly what he, he meant. So basically your Bangbuster is free cardo every single turn. So that's why Bangbuster is absolutely busted with Tezzeret. Alright, Trespasser. Uh, but we get a lot of cards, so even though it hurts, uh, this does not keep, kill the Tezzeret. And we can keep drawing cards and that's not... Yeah, you crew. <laughs> I, I'll give you the hint. You definitely want to crew it. It's not great, but it's best you will get. Alright. Is there something more, or he's just, you know, doing the obvious stuff extremely slowly? Okay, cool. 
Anyway, let's draw some cards and see what we get. Alright, there was... Okay, let's actually read. First activated ability of an artifact. We did not activate one. I kind of think about discarding two lands, honestly. It's not perfect, but I think the situation just calls for it. I think it's good enough. So, let's draw a card. For free, because it's easier. Pro I probably should have done it before, right? One mana removal. We have three planes, perfect. And this will hurt, and there's no way around it. Alright, so what is the next play? It will be this one. But it's one mana. That's a big deal. Uh, do I want to... No, I will go for Soul Partition in case he calls the thing. I cannot, right? I, I need to pay. And we are not paying for our stuff. That's overrated. We just want it for free. And it, it just... <laughs> like it breaks me. Like, like it's, it's, it looks like a puppet. Like, you know, the theatrical puppetry thing. Alright, uh, there's a Liliana. That's interesting. That's not a creature. He decided this is the play. I mean, okay. Like, I have enough card advantage and we will be able to kill, uh, attack Liliana, uh, Liliana on the next turn. Wars are hard, but I finally made it through. Uh, so Marge is a good card. Uh, definitely cards, but he also has good cards. Alright, so Soul Partition, right? If we target the Bangbuster, like, we don't get much. I actually want my cards. I know it's a bit weird, but as long as he has cards, Liliana is not favoring him too much. It actually favors us. Uh, the problem is minus two or the ultimate. But as long as we can keep it in check, we should be fine. This might be a removal, but I'm pretty sure we'll do everything just to test it. By the way, this is a free ramp with Tezzeret because we draw it for free. This is important. I'm not sure which one we play. I could make another, uh, like, artifact into something, right? Target artifact becomes an artifact creature. So that's good, but I'm not losing my Tezzeret. He's super cool, and I'm gonna milk him for every single value possible. Cool. Uh, what about a Bangbuster that just got killed, my friend? Sure. This effect is also pretty cool. Man, a Tezzeret is such an amazing planewalker. Alright, discard an artifact. No, because our artifact is really good right now. You know what? I have enough draw. I can play like this. Just for going for the tempo. Alright, and... If he kills it, he kills it after we tap, but I, I think he kinda missed all of this. Not sure if it was obvious from the board state or not, but I think he just missed it. And you know what? I do not mind one mana bankbuster. Oh boy, this deck is just glorious. Like everything is so cheap. Oh man, one mana spells are like so so powerful. One of the reasons Mono Monoret is there, right? They just have three cards for three mana. <laughs> uh, he won't be happy after he sees the next play. Uh, so I could protect it, but I don't care. I should draw a card, but I don't care. Uh, was this a great play? Definitely not. But we will still win this. Alright, so that was the free one. And you know what? I think at this point we just make sure that our Bangbuster is a creature forever. He's like Pinocchio. He just became a true creature that he always dreamed of. Anyway, so let's... You know what? I bet you want the reality chip. Reconfigure here because he cannot remove because it's a creature and now we play free stuff and what is better than free stuff? We do not attack and you might, you might ask why because uh, his bankbuster might be attacking our Tezzeret and we want to make it much harder because we are winning this on the value so hard it's not even close. So yep. Yeah. He doesn't have much time, also we can melt Urza at some point. Alright, 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 alright. Don't forget we also get extra cards here. Man, we are drawing so many cards. Alright, uh, I do not mind this one, but... 
because we will attach it to, to the next thing, next turn. Right, do I... No, Lidiana is fine. Uh, let's not give him the value. I will just draw my cards. Thank you. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't have chance. Like, we can keep going for, like, next 10 cards. Alright, we're going first with Bangbuster, so it should be fine. We will start with the Bedland, because I want to make sure that we make a um, turn to play. If we open with the planes and we don't top deck the land, um, it kind of breaks everything that we have in the hand. And with Bangbuster we ensure that we get more land, so that's why it's really important. Alright, so let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, we are against this kind of deck. Let's definitely go with the planes, we need to start making those. And being on the play is such a huge deal. On the draw, it would be way, way worse. You know, this only this game. It, it never happened before. <laughs> yeah, obviously slow. But yeah, it's always such a big deal. Like, on the draw, this hand would be extremely weaker. Beast scorer. Planes, please. Can I? Uh, we will never draw this plane. This is one of my gripes with the, with the card. However I build the deck, I always draw the wrong lands every single game. So he's heavily incentivized to just keep playing a lot of creatures to pump it, so at most it will be a 5-5. Five, five. And we can use the Emperor to exile it, as long as we draw cards, right? So I have no doubts he will curve out with everything very nicely. I'm not so sure about my hand. Uh, we need a land, pro preferably a plane. Like, even the Raffin Tower would be good enough, because then you can uh, exile the Beast Color for one mana and then follow up with either card or Urza, depending on the land. That's not very good play. This is just one attack. I gladly take it. Alright. No respect to the correct blocks. That's a Plains. I won't lie, this is incredibly good draw incredibly good draw. We could also just go for the Mightstone and the Weakstone, which will be much more epic. And you know what? Uh, it is more epic. <laughs> and we will go for it. Just because it's just so fun. Uh, the counters will go here, but we get to draw with the Bang Buster for free, and that's something I cannot pass. Like drawing three cards for zero mana, like sign main. We played the rounds, right? Okay, so there's no point in drawing main phase because we won't be able to play. And we can always... No, Urza, please. Like, stay away at your towers. You are collecting them your whole life, so just make use of it. Not just rush into battle. And that was a great comment. Like, I, sometimes it just goes south, you know? You start with a great idea, and there's a story, there's something. Then you start talking, and it's like, oh man, <laughs> it's not going well. It's, it ended differently than I hoped. And we need to, you know, fill the void, because our opponent with his five cards and green and red just cannot think of the correct play. Three damage. Okay. So of course he has another removal, but if he plays so much into Urza, like it's really big bad deal for him anyway. So I guess a follow-up removal. What is this play? <laughs> like what? 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 You could do the same thing without doing this. <laughs> like sure. Enjoy my friend. Have fun. Have fun. We have Emperor, we have Lay Down Arms. As long as we draw a card and move the Mightstone and move... Man, can we can melt? Can we melt? Like, I play the land and we melt, right? Oh, man. It's not the correct play, but let's be honest. I have to do it. It's way too epic. Man, we are just melting Urza like crazy today. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So, let's create some soldiers. And I mean... Perfectly obedient. I will go with the Trampler, my friend. I could make more tokens that could crew the Bangbuster. Man, Urza is talking as much as I do. But you know, I have to. You don't. <laughs> oh, but it's so glorious when you have Urza. Suddenly the game just shifts completely. And that's why we wanted the tokens and we removed the Trampler. Because without the Trampler? Like, bro, I can create four creatures a turn. I can block this forever. Enjoy nice 
And do I untap with my Urza? It seems so. So we definitely start with this one. I don't know why, but it's super epic and I will still do it. Uh, let's get rid of, I guess this. I could probably pay this and, you know, do the boring stuff, but it's just way better. And let's do the actual thing. I want to draw cards. Cards are always the best. Uh, we'll go with this one. For this turn, we can play the tap land. We do not care. And that's... Man, Urza taking over the game. I didn't think we will go into this direction. Like, it's cool, Tezzeret, that you are here, but, you know, there's another Planewalker in town. And he seems to be doing a pretty decent job. That's why I didn't want to minus 3 it. Because uh, it would be a 3 royalty. And that's in range for his burn. We do not want to lose Urza. Like, not against red deck. Like, if they have black mana and they just destroy the Planewalker or white mana, then fine, but... Yeah? My friend. <laughs> not yeah, enough. Okay. Not enough. And when he sees the Emperor, oh, bad. They actually consider not playing Emperor just so he doesn't scoop this turn and I get two extra activations. Alright, you have zero cards and one attacker. Like, what is the play, my friend? <laughs> Those Kami flares, those were some of the weirdest flares I have ever seen. By the way, if he didn't waste that one on Urza, he would he would kill the Planewalker by now. Uh, you should use the Emperor, but then he runs and he explodes. And you don't get to draw two extra cards and play Urza. That is absolutely amazing. Alright, so let's make everything cheap. Uh, you know, cards that we do not have. <laughs> and let's make sure that we draw more cool cards. See, everything was just simply planned. Man, this is so epic. And thanks to this not playing Emperor, you can see the full potential of the deck. So right now we, we use it. It doesn't cost mana, that's the first ability we have played. Now we go... Have you ever seen the treasure token that no. kills your opponent? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind this turn. It was pretty epic. So from now, like, we scale insanely. Our opponent cannot just keep up with Urza. And this takes over the game if it survives at least, like, two turns. During one turn, they still can remove it sometimes. But after one, sorry, I, I thought it's his turn. Man, there's still the Emperor. He cannot even attack. Because there is a 4-4 treasure. <laughs> I need to kill him with this treasure. It has to be epic. And uh, my turn. We draw cards. At least we have some fun, right? Oh, it's every turn. Each turn. Oh my god, I definitely knew about it. And let's not sacrifice this treasure, please. Alright, let's make everything cheap. Let's heal. And I, I, I need to be sorry about Kalana and Alina. You have to go for all the pain you, you have caused to the world. And let's draw cards so he doesn't scoop. Uh, we decline, we go like Urza and I mean... I don't know, Emperor. Emperor, you are overrated. Not anymore. We can draw cards for free. We play Lance. Oh, we, we already did. And now we create this guy that will be big. Will hit our opponent face. Can I activate it? Of course I can. Of course I can. <laughs> Alright, I think as always we are going second, right? It's, it's the rule by now. And let's see what it goes. The hand is not amazing. Uh, we start with the planes because we might uh, lay down arms. So no, if we draw it we want to make sure that we can play the second planes in case we want to. Hornet Stone Seeker. Alright, I, I feel weird right now. Ender's Great Power Stone. Okay, I kind of like it. Oh, you can sacrifice it. <laughs> that's that's a weird card, but I kind of like it. This has mana, so we probably want to do it like this. So, if you wanted to ramp, my friend, you are not ramping right now. We will make sure that you play it after it is relevant. So the board is basically the same as it was last turn. We... Like, I, I know this is some kind of ramp deck, right? He wants this to die, but we won't let him. 
Urza. Urza is threatening enough. Of course we do not block this. It, it wants to die and I don't know what he's doing, but it will be glorious, huge and artifact based. So we definitely do not want to see it. Man, this is actually is so nice. With Tezzeret you also reconfigure for one mana. So if you have both, it's just insane, man. Alright, the cast this this will be threatening, but this is the card that answers it. Alright, but I don't get full value if I equip this right now. So I think this is much better. And yeah, we do not want to kill it. So we just draw more cards and play Bank Busters because they are pretty cool. I don't want to get Bank Bustered, you know? I don't attack because then he blocks and he gets the stuff. So he will activate the Cardo, but we also have Cardo and I think ours is better. The cash, this welcome is drawing him so many cards and it will be a pain. And that's enough. We played Urza and next turn we are melding, so if he cannot prevent the melt, he knows he's out of the game. Oh wow, we actually got our removal that we play four of. That's <laughs> that's kind of shocking. Alright, so pretty nice opening. We have only one planes, but we'll open with it in case we draw more. Uh, even Rafin Tower, something that is tough that still contributes to, you know, the thing. Alright, and we are against enchantment decks. Uh, or enchantment deck, should I say. Alright, this turn is definitely not so hot. And, yeah, we we need one more place. Man, this card always gets me in a, such an awkward position. I literally never used it as it is intended. Even if I play like, you know, 60% of the planes, it's still not enough. Alright, so rent over and let's just play Urza. Then he will play Borrowed Time, right? So we will play Mender because it's much... Like this card really loves to be removed, uh, contrary to the Urza. So we don't get benefit and on the next turn we actually can combine it with some 2 mana spell maybe. Alright. Alright, do you want to attack? Mishiko. Alright, I definitely want to block it, right? That's a lot of damage, I think. Yeah, I want. I really want to risk risk throwing uh, a plane. That would change my gameplay. Can we do it? I mean, that's kind of it. So then we get rid of the naturalist, and he doesn't have a discount. I think we need to slow him down. I really think so. So now we go like this. Nice. It would be better earlier if we had those planes, but it still contributed quite a lot. It's still definitely not over, but we are approaching 5 mana, so we will have some plays. Borrow time, absolutely fine. And that's, that's the point. He doesn't have so much damage, it's just Mishiko, basically. And we are building every single turn. So this will be quite huge on the next turn, that's, that's some problem. Unless, unless we just go for the Weaver. So if, if I play Tezzeret, do I get any benefit of this? And I cannot combine those two, right? It's way too expensive. Yeah, all right. So this will be what? One, two, three. And it's an enchantment creature, so it gets buff. So it will be like four, four. Yeah, it definitely kills Tezzeret. So the choice is unfortunately kind of easy. I could also draw cards. But we lose so much tempo. I think we should go like this. I I can see drawing cards and trying to fish for, for well being a better strategy. I will just risk it. Don't forget Otawara can be activated from this mana and it can bounce the Mightstone and the Weakstone. So we actually have quite a lot of value. Doc. Okay. I, we are kind of playing against the wrong version of the enchantment. Like for them. Wedding announcement is not great in this deck in my opinion. Uh, but is, is that, does it still matter? Can I do it? No. I have five mana. I did not... Oh, I wanted to play it here. Oh no. I wanted to count if I can replay the Mightstone. But I guess it is what it is. 
you know what? If the game decided that Urza will be played, we will try to make Urza played, I guess. So it will be some kind of removal, the cheaper one, unfortunately. And it will buff the Mishiko. So we could save it, but I honestly don't think that's a, that's a good play. Oh, I okay, 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 I have an idea. I have a pretty decent idea. Because obviously we want all want to see the melting, right? Not sure if it can carry us, honestly. So we are taking a huge hit. That's a wedding announcement. What actually this does? I should read the card probably. Man, we are actually drawing quite a lot of cards, but if we draw for a while, it's not good enough. Exile target permanent. I'm not sure if it's good enough, but we'll still do it for the coolness. Uh, man, I nearly bounced the wrong thing for some reason. Yeah, I will gladly pay my life because I have way too much. And my friend, I'm getting my melt, whether you like it or not. I should play the Sish engine. That was such a big deal. <laughs> I've won many battles. You stand no chance. Okay, we heard the voice line because that's not something you generally hear. Uh, so we didn't play around this turn. If I if we draw something. Artifact, instant, and sorcery cost two less. So search engine is actually free, and we gain two life. That's not a bad one. He cannot use this. This kills nothing. Uh, borrow time is the only thing that matters. Alright, we have so many options. One of them should be good. I think drawing card is a really important start. Yeah, this is pretty good so far. Uh, we have what? Four. This is two mana. So let's get rid of the biggest creature. Alright. We are slowly making progress, guys. I do not care about the damage. So I think we draw cards. Or, no, we, we do this one. Yeah, bro, I know, you, you don't have cool plane walker. you need to wait for your cool plane walker queue. Alright, so we could play search engine and have a blocker, but I still think drawing cards is a bit better. It gives us more options for the future. What secrets have we unearthed? Uh, I did not play around, right? And I think playing land is important. Alright, alright, like we have Urza. Of course he has it. Two of them in 17 cards. Of course. Why wouldn't he Enough. ever have it? While we are not fishing any of the three farewells in our deck. Seems perfectly perfectly legit. By the way, moment we draw farewell, the game is absolutely over. And we are at seven, so that's that's pretty rough. We definitely go for Tezzeret. We draw cards. We need to fish for farewell. And from Spider, he cannot really use the mana, I guess, right? It's green, so he cannot really. So we go like this. Oh man, I just want to draw my farewell. I even increase the number just to avoid this exact situation that I'm drawing from my deck. And just one card that wins me the game does not work. Let's see if he can directly kill me. Mishika? Of course! Like, why would you not have... He's playing, like, without the draw. <laughs> Kinda. And we are playing with Tezzeret, Ultimate Planewalkers, and he still top decks better than us. One farewell was all that was needed to win the game.